Hi folks, this is Sam from Coastal Angler Magazine, Charleston. Today we're at Charleston Marine looking at the Nautic Star 195 Bay Boat. Nautic Star is the largest manufacturer of bay boats in the United States, and this particular boat is one of their most popular. I think you're going to really enjoy the walkthrough, and we're going to let Brian take it away right now. All right, guys, it's Brian here uh, to show you the new 2020 Nautic Star 195 Bay. Uh, we're here at Charleston Marine. We're the new Nautic Star dealer, and this is one of our two boats that we just got in inventory. Uh, starting in the back, like I said, this is a 195 Bay, so it's a 19-foot Bay boat. This is the smallest boat that Nautic Star makes. Uh, we have this one rigged with uh, the VMAX SHO, or the Super High Output F-115. Um, other other features back here is underneath this seat we've got access to batteries and systems. One thing I like about these seats is they fold down and they actually lock down. It's a kind of cool detail that Nautic Star has been doing. You have a little button here and it releases it, but this is something that won't allow the seat to fly up while you're traveling, which is a common issue. Um, our next uh, hatch right here is our main live well. This boat is, comes equipped with two live wells. There's also a second one in front of the uh, center console. Our, our second flip up jump seat right here gives us access to our cast net bucket, which can also be a five gallon bucket. Also system uh, access to systems underneath that. And again, this latches down. One thing that I really liked about this boat is you have a solution for one, two, three, four, five people to ride on this boat with a couple or and a grab rail right beside you. I thought that was a, a very nice feature on a 19th of Bay boat. This is your basic uh, leaning post. We chose the basic leaning post to give you maximum space around it. Anytime you're working with a boat this small, space is a premium. Um, here on the dash, we've got plenty of space to flush mount electronics, VHF, stereos, uh, Yamaha analog gauges, uh, mechanical steering, mechanical controls. Here's Nautic Star's panel. Um, inside of this console, anybody who bought this boat would be planning to put a trolling motor on it and it comes ready and pre-rigged pre for a 24 volt trolling motor system. As you can see, this console just has space for days. So there's tons of space for gear and extra rigging. The console's also integrated with, uh, with rod holders, three down each side. Another nice feature of this console is it has a, a fold down rail and a fold down and a removable windshield. That's something that's really relevant for those guys who need to get the boat in the garage. And those last couple of inches can really make the difference. Um, up here, we've got another live well, which I thought was awesome to see two live wells in a boat of this size. Um, both of your stand pipes are stored right here. And like I was saying, you've got an awesome storage spot here, or I'm sorry, a seating spot here for people to be able to hold on while you're running. Another detail that we found were, was very nice was this little cup holder integrated with the, the C deck. We thought that was a nice little touch. Once we're up here on the bow, you can see we've got plenty of space to stand. We start over here on the port side with a rod locker. In the center, we've got lockable storage for tackle, gear, you name it. And then over here on the starboard, we have just another gear locker that's insulated for, uh, you could put ice in it if you wanted to, um, really whatever you needed to store there. It's got a pedestal for a seat if that's uh, something that you like. Pre-rig for the trolling motor. We can see the plug up at the front. We've got our anchor hatch. I like the bow of this boat, how it's ready to receive a trolling motor. They have space over here on the port side. They've moved the, uh, the receptacle for the nav light off to the side, and they've made it so that the anchor rope can run right out the front. It doesn't have to go through the trolling motor space, which will be living over there. So those little details really are sometimes the details that really make the boat. So, one thing that's what really impressed us with this Nautix R195 Bay is they fit a lot into a small package and it's a very affordable boat at $30,000.